Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another vlog. So today I'm going to be doing the very first in my back to school, I guess, series. Um, so it is currently Sunday night, the 28th. And tomorrow morning, super early, I'm going to be moving into my new classroom. So as far as plans go, I'm just going to give you guys like a timeline. Um, so I live in Arizona. I live and teach in Arizona. And my first official day back at work is July 7th. That is the day that I go and pick up my laptop and submit paperwork. I've already signed my contract. Um, I've accepted positions and all of that stuff. So on the 7th, I actually go and take in like transcripts, um, direct deposit forms, things like that. And I pick up my laptop, I get my badge photo done, things like that. And then the rest of that week, I begin new to the district trainings. If you guys are either new here or you haven't been watching for a minute, I am moving school districts. I worked in the Mesa Public School District before and I am moving out in the Queen Creek area. Um, I was commuting for an hour uh, two and an hour uh, back to work, so two hours a day of driving, and my commute is changing to about a minute to two minutes every day. So I'm really happy. But anyways, so that whole next week, starting July 7th, is all of my new to the district trainings. I'm gonna be um, in like curriculum trainings for science. Um, I don't know if I have a curriculum. Um, it says classroom resources, so I'm assuming I don't have a curriculum, but um, things that I can use that the district has. Um, and then just basic district trainings. So starting on the 7th, I will be back at school. Meet the teacher night is going to be the 20th of July. And then the first official day of school is going to be virtual the 22nd and 23rd. And then students will return to campus July 27th. As far as the back to school plan goes, I'm gonna save that for another video because I really just wanna make this one about moving into my classroom. So tomorrow's the 29th, I'm gonna be moving into my classroom. So this is all of my Amazon stuff. Sorry guys, my kitchen, those are clean dishes. It doesn't matter. Um, so this is all of the stuff that I either purchased on Amazon or brought home for the summer. So like this is a big box of like student supplies, like crayons and things that I didn't want to melt in a storage unit. Um, and then just like other things that I brought home for virtual learning. And then also my Amazon stuff. So I'm probably not gonna be able to fit this rack in my car, but everything else I should be able to fit in my car, so. Good morning, happy moving day. I'm excited. It is 7.50 right now. I am due at my school right after eight is when my principal said that I can come in. So I'm just getting things ready here. I'm eating breakfast, um, which really is not a lot. Um, and I'm trying one of these Alani new energy drinks. I saw Kim on Elementary in the Mitten drinking these and then I asked my workout buddy about them and she's like, oh yeah, Alani new is a great company. So I have their pre-workout. And this is the first time I'm trying one of their energy drinks, so I'm putting it in a koozie here so I can keep it cold. Um, I have a yogurt smoothie that I'm eating, drinking, and I'm eating three hard-boiled eggs, and that's my breakfast. Yeah, very nutritious. I'm also drinking a skinny tab. I'm going to try to have this drink before I leave the house. My school is only two minutes away, so she said come by after eight. So I, fix, I figure if I leave like right after eight, then I'm not like, here I am. Um, I'm gonna stop talking and get right into the moving vlog. So here we go. Hey you guys, so I am in the car. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vlog driving to school and I'll tell you why. Ooh, that's a spot on my car that I don't want there. Um, I'm gonna vlog on my way to school because I want to physically time how long it takes me to get there. From like leaving the driveway to parking in the parking lot. Just got an email from my principal saying, hey girl, 
The door is open for you. This is your classroom number. Please take the elevator. They just painted the stairs. <laughs> so I am headed that way. It's 8.15 now and I just left the garage. So the plan today, um, I'm gonna drop off this small load of stuff and then I'm going to come back to the house, pick up Scott. He's taking cash to school. We're gonna go to get the U-Haul. We'll go load it, we'll come empty it, and then that's it for the day. There's no like hanging out, there's no like setting anything up or unpacking anything. Everything is very like, you come in, you drop off, you go. Um, she's in a meeting, so she left the door open for me. Um, and so as of right now, there are tables in there, but she did say the tables will be going and desks will be brought in. And that is all just for the distance, um, social distancing for the kiddos. I was going to have tables. She had tables put in there for me. But with all of the stuff going on, um, she had to take the tables out. So that sucks, but it is what it is. So I am here. <laughs> and it's 8.16. Um, I haven't parked yet, but I am here. So it took me a minute. <laughs> Sorry, it's it's 8.17. I haven't parked yet. It's 8.17. But I'm here. So, I'm going to go ahead and start taking stuff in. If I see my principal, that'd be great. If I don't, it's okay. I'm just here to move stuff in. We're here. So, this is my new classroom. I like it a lot so far. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little like toury thing and then I'm gonna start moving stuff. I got a cart, so now it's just gonna go really fast. So I'm here next to the beautiful window. So I have three windows in my room. I have a big here. This one's kind of, they're all kind of like up off of the ground. So that's kind of nice for like indoor plants. Like I can put them up on stuff and they'll get lots of light. Um, beautiful view of the courtyard. Um, so I'm in my little teacher corner, which I probably won't keep this a teacher corner just because you guys know me. Um, this is the hookup though to the projector as of now. I think they're installing different technology. I don't know when, but this is where you hook up to the projector. So my computer will have to be back here, which means my teacher corner will probably be somewhere over here, but it will look a lot different. Um, have a desk. The desk is actually really nice. It's just silver. I'll probably actually use it as a desk and use my black tables for something else. Then you have a filing cabinet and right now there are desks in here because that's what I had requested before social distancing needed to happen. Um, so Mr. Greg is going to keep these two tables in here for me to use for either like small group or like demonstration or like a teaching top table. So I'm going to keep these two desks and then I love this you guys stools. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, these are going to be great. The desks are these bigger rectangular desks, which is great for science because there's going to be a lot more space for the kids. Um, and then they can shove their backpack in here, which would be great because then they can't lean them or hang them on the stool. So they'll be able to like put their backpack down in there and it will be out of the way. Um, so these tables will obviously leave, but so here is this wall. So I have a bulletin board, another window. This is a really sweet looking bookshelf. Like I'm very pleased and it has storage drawers. Super exciting. Um, probably use this as like a little study nook, like put a pillow there. I don't know. Um, we have another window and a flag obviously. And then we have the big whiteboard space, which I love. And then a smart board. And then there's another spot for a bulletin board here. Um, then we have this built-in storage. So this is really nice and big. This is probably where I'm gonna keep the bulk of everything. I'm gonna try really hard to cram as much as possible in there because I'm gonna try to be very simplistic this year. Um, so that's really nice. Then I also have this built-in bookshelf, which will be great for all of my like dictionaries and storing all of my curriculum that I didn't know I was getting, but I got it. 
So this is PhD Science. It is made by Great Minds. So the same people who made Eureka Math. Um, that's what I'm getting. So I might dig through these before I leave and pull out like one of everything so I can like start looking at it over the next week or so. Um, but this is really nice, nice little countertop. And then we've got a little corner here, which is where I'm thinking I'll probably put, I don't know, some sort of like lab space. Um, and then this wall, I'm thinking my classroom library is gonna go here, I don't know yet. And then this whole back wall, which if I'm gonna use this desk as a teacher desk, I'm probably gonna put my black tables up here and I might get a third one or make it like a like a bar type thing. I might go to Ikea and get some like bar top tables because I do have a few stools I could use. Um, but I have this whole back wall to use, so that is really nice. Um, I like how the colors are simple. The floor is tile. I do have a Roomba. I do have a Roomba at home that we don't really use anymore. And so I'm thinking I'll probably bring her here and just like let it go in the mornings when I'm, you know, working or like at the end of the day before I go home, just turn on the Roomba just to kind of keep it down and like make the janitor's job a little bit less. So, I, I mean, we don't use her at home, so there's really no point in keeping her home. Anyway, we got another bulletin board here, and there's a lot of potential for this room. I'm really, really excited. Okay, so I need to put you guys down, and I need to bring up all of the stuff from the car, and then I gotta go pick up Scott and get the U-Haul and get this party started, because we need to be done by like 12. So, we'll see how this goes. What's this latest? You're videotaping me. Is there a dolly in there? That's what he said. All right. Can you drive that? Yeah. <laughs> Can I drive There's that? There's our truck right there. All right. Well, I'll meet you at the storage unit. You remember where it is? done I am getting ready to take the U-Haul back I'm getting hydrated first so it took us we had a couple roadblocks I forgot my storage unit keys at the house so after we had already like loaded everything up or sorry picked up the U-Haul we had to then I had to go back home get the keys go back to the storage unit where they were waiting for me and it took like 30 minutes out of our day. So Scott literally just left to go home and get ready for work at two. He'll probably be late. But good news is, is we live two minutes from school. So he should be able to get home, jump in the shower, go and everything like that. So my friend Nicole's following me and we're going back to U-Haul. 
to drop this thing off and then we will go home and relax for a bit or maybe we'll go to lunch and then we're gonna go to the gym. So that is the day. I will probably not be back in my classroom until July 7th, 8th or 9th. One of those days, I'm not positive. I know for sure the 9th because I need to report to school that day. But we got everything moved in. I have a lot of stuff. It took us about an hour to unload and everything because we had to go up an elevator, which was tough. So we had to unload, walk everything in. We kind of started like an assembly line, like we had a few carts and dollies and we were like putting the carts and dollies full in the elevator, sending them up and then Scott was taking them down. So it was really helpful uh, to have all those, but I'm glad it's over, it's done. Now the real work, we well, now the real work begins. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do that because in the event that I do go in my classroom and I don't bring my camera, I will be showing you guys that on Instagram. Um, it is linked down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.